Hi everyone, voiceover Emma here because we went into Foy today to film this little mini vlog for you guys and it was so windy that you literally cannot hear a word that I'm saying. So I figured I would just do a super quick little mini vlog for you and just have a little chat and explain what we're up to. So here we're driving into Foy, we tend to take a right hand turn just as you're coming towards the town we head down this long road and as you get right to the end of this road you'll see in a second that you can see the sea on your left and as you come kind of around the bend just as you get around the bend on your right hand side there'll be a car park called the ready money cove car park and this was a sunday and it was super quiet and we just park here and we head down just in kind of the left hand bottom corner of the car park down here through a little wooded alleyway and the end of this little lane will bring you out um, kind of on the road down towards the town so you can either turn left to go towards the town or you can turn right which will double you back towards Ready Money Cove and um, it's a really lovely place to park because it's a nice kind of secluded little walk down safe for the kids and yeah it's not too hilly or anything like that as you can see walking down here you also get a really lovely view of the sea. Joey absolutely loves this little bit of the lane as well because he can find all the sticks and flowers. This is Ready Money Cove that you can see now just through the trees there. It's a really beautiful little cove with a small little beach. Here we are walking down towards Foy Town just looking out over the estuary. So this is us, as we've taken a left, we're heading down towards Foy Town, just having a look at all the lovely cottages. It's a shame, I'm sure most of these cottages are actually holiday homes nowadays, but they're really beautiful houses. This is down in the main kind of square harbour area, you've got the pub, there's some loos there on your left as well. Just having a little nose around town, there's some lovely little shops and eateries down here. Sean was just pointing out that there's a Foy Town band there because we're bandies. Here we just grabbed some uh, pastries, pasties, sausage rolls and everything from Niles Bakery. This is a little aquarium here on your left hand side. If you look through that hole there's a lobster in there. This is right down on the actual harbour front. Joey loves to stand down here and watch the boat because he's having a little bit of trouble with the wind here. It's quite rough today but um, normally it's really quite chilled out down here. It's a very lovely calm place to sit and watch the boats. Now we have headed, doubled back on ourselves back towards the car park and we've taken the right hand turn down towards Ready Money Cove as you can see here it is we've been here before where the sea has the tide has been right out which is a really lovely little secluded beach and unfortunately we didn't get very far I think we kind of got to the bottom and gave up because the wind was so bad as you can probably see if you look at the grass here and some of the trees Up next we headed to Porthkernick Beach which is actually on the Roseland Peninsula. It's a really gorgeous east facing beach, there aren't that many east facing beaches in Cornwall but this is one of them, it is a stunning quite small secluded little beach which we've never actually visited before so it's really lovely to get down here. It's just accessed off the southwest coast path, there is a car park you can park at join the southwest coast path and then head down these stairs and you'll be on the beach. Obviously the access isn't ideal for everybody, but the steps are proper steps and there is a handrail, so it's not as bad as it seems. The beach is fairly sandy, some boggy areas and some rocks, but otherwise quite easy to walk along. There's some really awesome looking rock formations that you can climb on. The little cafe up here on the the hill which is nice that's how you get in the steps up here walk along here from the car park and down it is quite a steep set of stairs but they're they're proper stairs so it's not too bad oh no here he comes 
It's raining. It's raining, Jojo. This way. This way, okay. Watch out, the water's coming in, you're gonna get wet. Very soothing, isn't it? What's in this? Calming. After this we just headed down towards Tawan Beach which is just a bit further along the coast. Again you can access this via the Southwest Coast Path or like we did you can park in the Porth Circular Walk car park. It's about a mile and a half walk if you do the Porth Walk which takes you around the Roseland Peninsula and down to St Anthony's Head where the lighthouse is. There's some gorgeous views down there too so I highly recommend you check it out. Oh, watch out. It's alright, I've got wellies on. The Now this is Tower Beach, it had a fairly level short walk from the car park to get onto it. And yeah, it's a lovely, again, little secluded beach. Not that many people here, it doesn't get that busy even in tourist season because it's kind of a little bit hidden. Seals are super common on this beach also, so be sure to keep your eyes out. This is the car park that we parked in, the Porth car park and here you can see the walk that you can do around. And the little walk it takes just to get to the beach, super easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching, we really appreciate your support. Let us know in the comments any way you'd like us to visit and of course as always in the description will be all the information about the places we visited, the postcodes and all of that good stuff. So we'll see you next time, thanks guys.